So, um, one final question, because we've been going on a lot longer than we originally intended, or at least than I, you've been kind enough to spend a lot more time with me than I originally asked for. Um, what interesting research are you conducting now, and uh, what do you anticipate conducting research on in the future? Well, we've been, um, right now, because of the downturn in the economy, our budgets have been cut for continuing research, but we continue, we've been spending a lot of time on scintillation or sparking. And scintillation is, I think, going to turn out to be the end all and be all when it comes to um, developing metrics that describe how beautiful a diamond is. And scintillation, again, if there are consumers listening or watching this video, scintillation is a sparkle. And it's a, it's a dynamic thing, meaning the sparkle in a diamond happens if you move, the diamond moves, or the light sources around you move. It, it requires movement. So typically, if you're a consumer and you're looking at a diamond, you would do something like this. And most people move the diamond, and when they move that diamond... Can't, we can't see your hand there Okay, yet. There you go. As you move, move that more. diamond... There we go. As you move that diamond, you see bright, you see sparkles. Yeah. And those sparkles may be white or they may be colored or fiery. And so all of these sparkles is what really gives the diamond life. The more sparkles that you see, you look at that and you go, wow, this diamond is alive. It's, it's, it's like vibrant. It's alive. These sparkles are coming out. I'm looking at them. I'm seeing them. And fortunately, we live in a time where we got faster computers, um, better methodologies, ray tracers that we've developed and gotten patents for, that we're starting to be able to create videos and analyze all of these sparkles. And what, what we call them is they're called virtual facets, or sometimes people call them compound mirrors. And those each, each and every one of those virtual facets contributes to how sparkly a diamond is. And so we're trying to really um, understand scintillation and define and devise and define metrics that will adequately evaluate scintillation in a diamond uh, and again in the long run the consumer wins. Cool. I'm going to uh, thank you very much and I'm going to try to get a picture of this Duratrans. Okay good. It, the, the light did adjust as I hoped. This is a picture of a diamond that's got light coming from a lot of different directions. This was taken by the wonderful Jim Cadill and um, it shows the virtual facets. Uh, Peter, would you mind pointing out some of the virtual facets so that people understand? They're not real facets, but they're mirrors within mirrors within mirrors that appear out of the interaction of the light as it disperses within the diamond and hits literally tens of thousands, millions, gazillions of different points of light. And, Perhaps, Peter, you'd show some of the more prominent real facets and the virtual facets that we can see. Yeah, I'd be glad to, Wink. Um, I'll just point, but, um, you know, tip, this is a standard round brilliant, has eight pavilion main facets, and uh, that's these here. You can see that this is a, uh, an actual portion of a pavilion main facet. These are virtual facets on each side. You can notice that this reflection here is smaller in, in width than the actual width of the pavilion main facet. But like, for example here, this little, it's actually like an upside down heart shape. These are two virtual facets. This virtual facet may be looking at 90 degrees up into the uh, panorama or the lighting environment around us. This one here may be looking at 50 degrees over to your right or to your left. And we actually measure each one of these and we know exactly where they're looking to find light. Here's a, two more virtual facets. You get out here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Just in the upper, these two upper girdle facets, there are 12 virtual facets at this orientation. Turn so, the diamond, the size, uh, the size and number of virtual facets changes. So there are literally tens of thousands of virtual there facets. There are hundreds, like for example, a princess cut. Princess cut, if you tilt the princess cut over like 45 degrees, in one degree increments, there are like 180,000 virtual facets. I'm glad I didn't have to count those. I know. We actually <laughs> count them all. So anyway, thank you, Wayne, for I the hope time. you let the computer do that. Peter, thank you very, very much. This was absolutely wonderful for you to give us so much time. Glad to do it. All Thanks, right, Wayne.